Alright guys, and today we are back with an episode of our FIFA 13 career mode series. In the first episode guys, uh, Steven had to redo it just over a couple of things. You, you guys seem to have enjoyed it. You left many comments, I uh, thank you all for that. And you also got 50 plus likes. Like seriously, on the first episode I don't think I've had that many ever. So we can continue to sort of like high likes, that would be really amazing. But seriously, 50 likes is it, just outstanding. So I thank you guys for all of that. So... Uh, for that, uh, now I broke up for the six weeks holiday, so there's just going to be episodes every day. So make sure to look out for these in your sub box every day. But anyway, enough talking about that. So we're going to go into a short list. We're just going to show you some players we've added. So um, I've added quite a lot of players. <laughs> we're going to go through them all now. So uh, some players you've uh, requested in the comments, and plus some players I've uh, put in up myself. So we've got one. Uh, Wan Yama, I think that's his name. Uh, a C C M C D M. Uh, I don't know if he's like. Yeah, he's done that on FIFA as well. C M C D M. Six foot two, really tall player. And he's only 21. Plays for Celtic. Look at those stats for a C M C D M. Really solid. Really solid stats. 88 strength as well. 81 jumping. Uh, not too bad. 83 heading accuracy as well. Short passing is 82. Shot power is 84. So he could be good with the long shots. Long shots only 73, but not bad. I guess so. He's a player could sign for C D M over Britain. I could probably do a swap with them, I don't know. Uh, we're going to see what happens there. Uh, Delafu, who's actually gone to Everton in real life on loan. Uh, I was actually happy about that when it happened, but uh, as you guys know that. But um, some guy did leave a comment saying Swansea signed players from Spain and England. So Delafu is, is Spanish and he's from uh, Barcelona, so it's all good. It's something that could possibly happen. Um, if anything, I would have guessed that Swansea could have got him on loan. But we're going to try by him. We're going to see what he say. And uh, Carlos Ferrero, another really decent player, but uh, a pretty low overall to be in my squad. Uh, now these two players here, uh, really decent players. They've got kind of similar stats, um, except for this guy's uh, green stat and the other guy doesn't. Uh, but really two different, decent players, and they could be players that I'd buy in the future, but just they don't seem the sort of people I'd buy now. But are good suggestions, don't get me wrong. Uh, this guy as well, really decent with a pace. Uh, if I do need to play with a pace and a reserve striker, this guy would be the place to go to next. Uh, as he's only 20 as well, so he's quite young. And he's got the overall as well. And we've got Bonnie, who we're still trying to get. So, anyway, uh, this episode's going to be full of us trying to get some players. Now, Delafu, we're going to go straight into buy. Because if we get him, really decent sign him. Uh, we're going to offer 2 million. Um, who else do we have to offer? Now, if we go down here to, uh, I think it's, who am I looking for here? Rutledge. Rutledge. Now, he's worth 1.8, so if I have a 2, that's 3.8, which, uh, we'll see what they say. Um, like I said, we'll just see what they say from there onwards, then one Yammer will offer in for him as well. Now, for him, like I say, I'm going to offer our CDM. Uh, no, actually, not our CDM. If we could offer two people, it would be really good. But our CDM is only worth 1.2, whereas we have Wrangle. If I can find him. Is he one below? Yeah, there he is. He's worth two mils, so... Like I can say again, another player we could possibly buy. Uh, uh, no, Wrangle. Another player we could possibly sell. We've got him on a transfer list, I do believe. So, like I say, it could happen. Um, but we'll advance through and I'll see if anyone gets back to me. Now, we're going to put another offer in for Bonnie, just because they came back saying when I had to loan him out, which I must have asked for a loan last episode, but... We're going to go down to 5, take this 500,000 off, and then offer, I cut off a form, worth forms, that's worth 5.5, a lot of money, Dyer, I could actually get rid of Dyer actually, yeah, I'm going to offer Dyer, now, probably thinking why do that, why do that, because um, he's worth a lot of money, he's worth 3 million, which is a lot of money if you think about it, and if we do get dollar food, then that's just an instant swap, uh, swap position round, so here we go. That's not being not acceptable. If we offer 4.5, uh, I'm going to up it up to 3, see what you say about that. But then we do get, we are letting go of Rutledge as well. But Celtic have come back saying yes. Wow. Now I'm going to offer 4 years, crucial. Get that out submitted. If he comes back saying yes, now I'm going to stall it, stall it for now. Because uh, I don't be, I want to be able to sign some more players as well. And these wingers at the minute. We've got Lama, who's another left wing, uh, left wing player on loan here. Um, some guys still have to comment on that, which is a bit confused. Last episode. Uh, right, here we go. Unacceptable. Nah, mate, we don't have that amount of money. 4.5, so... 
I'm guessing they want 4.5 so badly. But anyway, I'll offer 4. Rutledge. Now, we offered Dyer. Who did we offer Dyer to? I think that was... Oh, yeah, it was to... Um, what's his name? Uh, Bonnie. Now, we offered Dyer plus 3. That's around about 5.4, which is in the middle of what they're asking anyway. So, they might say yes to that. They might say yes to that. Now, um, I don't know if we're going to get a striker. I really don't at this point. I really don't. Now... He's declined because I don't feel the move suits me. Right, you don't feel the suit move suits you. Bloody does. Important. See what he says about that. If he doesn't like that, then we'll put. Um, we just won't put. Do not specify. And hopefully one of those will work. And if not, then I'll off his wages, which is something I don't do not want to do. If I'm honest. Here we go. Barcelona be accepting another club showing interest in Bonnie. Nothing I can do about him, guys. I'm sorry, but I don't have the money. In real life, they actually bought it for 12 million, which unfortunately on the game. We don't have 12 million. If we did, trust me, I'd be buying him. But we don't have that kind of money. Um, but like I said, they showed interest. But if he's still not moved by next season, or next season I will buy him. Or January comes, we might get a big sell because the player's performed well and he's got himself on the market. Uh, we'll have a see. Here we go. Wanyama's come back. I need a bigger role in the club, right? A minute ago, I offered him crucial. You know? Then he says no because I don't think that move suits me. And you put important and want a bigger role, you can't win. Anyway, he wants he's only wants a bigger role to so offer crucial. Really what I should have done do not specify, but well enough days left. But anyway, I think what we're gonna do now is if we do sign these two players, we wanna put some players on sell because we need to they got yeah, loan E, I see, loan E. I must have noticed that. So De Guzman, we've actually loaned him in as well. He's a really good player. He's a really good player. Um now Williams, we want to keep Davies left back. We could possibly get him out alone. We could possibly sell him. <laughs> Just as simple as that. Sell him. Britain, we could try sell him. Pablo Hernandez, we're keeping him. Really good player. Plus, he's only just recently joined, so we can't sell him. Michu, oh, one of our star players, but then again, we could swap him. Oh no, this could be an extra chance. We could swap him. Oh, he's just recently joined. I was going to say, you could swap him with Bonnie, but we can't because he's recently joined. Now this player, we're going to get rid of him. Taylor, left back. I think he's actually our main left back in a minute, so we're going to keep him there. Dyer, um, Barcelona have actually gone through the deal, haven't they? So we're going to keep him. Oh, we've had him out alone. Anyone else who I want to sell? Obeng, he's our right back for the season now. Hopefully he turns out to be a really good player. I actually do have faith in him becoming a really good player, but we'll have to see. But anyway, here we're going to have to um, have a look. At what they come back saying tomorrow in game time we've got a game so that'll be next episode's game so uh, be sure to look out for that as well hopefully we'll win because it's going to be our first game under Swansea and we're going to see if we're actually, we might actually have some players new players for this but no we have a transfer offer and it's for Gary Monk right under the 40,000 just let him go uh, I want the rages for him and it's we've, our wages are going up by 4,000 not a lot but not bad at all but anyway guys, um, this is the end of the episode here, uh, hey boss, I was hoping you might be able to report it, uh, I don't know, I might, but uh, I'll leave you guys on the episode here, so I hope you enjoyed, and if you have, then leave a like down below, and also a comment, and also subscribe if you're not already, and also join back for the next episode, because we may be signing Wanyama and Della Fu, so you're obviously going to have to wait out till next episode to see if we sign them, and also you'll see our episode tomorrow of the big game so thank you all for watching and i hope you all enjoy